Thought Control to Manifest Life-Changing Results Written by Justice O. Malcolm Published by Audio Books Office Introduction Step into the world of thought control, where your thoughts hold the key to unlocking powerful transformations. This book emphasizes the importance of understanding the power of your mind and how controlling your thoughts can bring about remarkable results in your life. As you embark on this journey, you will learn to harness the power of your thinking to manifest not only what you desire but also to fundamentally change your approach to challenges and opportunities. In this course, you will learn the fundamentals of mental discipline and focus, which are necessary for guiding your brain processes toward achieving your objectives. This book teaches you about a variety of techniques that can assist you in regularly aligning your ideas with your actions. Some of these approaches include visualization, encouragement, and contemplation. You will acquire the knowledge necessary to establish a mindset that attracts positivity and drives away skepticism, laying the groundwork for major personal development and accomplishment. Each chapter offers step-by-step -step instructions on how to refine and apply your mental skills to create the reality you want. You'll gain insights into how successful individuals use these techniques to achieve clarity and purpose in their lives. The book also addresses common mental barriers like fear and procrastination and provides strategies to overcome them effectively. Thought control is more than just a manual, it's a transformational tool that empowers you to activate your highest potential, ready to control your thoughts and unlock your power to manifest life-changing results. Let's begin this profound journey together. You've likely heard the saying, your thoughts create your reality, but how exactly do you harness this power to manifest meaningful changes in your life? It's not as mystical or out of reach as you may think. In fact, it all starts with recognizing and replacing restrictive beliefs, defining your desired reality, and practicing mindfulness. However, there's more to the process than these initial steps. To truly master the art of thought control and manifestation, you'll need to delve deeper, explore further, and commit to a consistent practice. Stay with me as we unravel the intricate process of thought control and manifestation. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, check the video description or visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 69% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1. Utilizing the Potential of Thought Patterns Harnessing the power of your thought patterns can profoundly transform your life, opening a world of possibilities and propelling you toward success. It's not just about positive thinking, but understanding how your thoughts shape your reality. Your mind is like a garden, and your thoughts are the seeds. You can plant beautiful flowers or let the weeds take over. It's all up to you. Your thoughts, whether negative or positive, have a tremendous impact on the world you create for yourself. Your thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to actions, and actions lead to results. If you're constantly thinking about failure, you'll feel defeated, act with hesitation, and likely fail. However, if you think about success, you'll feel empowered, act with confidence, and increase your chances of success. You can't control everything that happens to you, but you can control how you think about it. You have the power to shift your perspective, to choose to see the silver lining, to choose to believe in your potential. To start utilizing the potential of your thought patterns, you need to be mindful of your thoughts. Pay attention to what you feed your mind. Are you nurturing it with positive, empowering thoughts or poisoning it with negativity? Remember, you're the gardener. Practicing mindfulness, engaging in positive self-talk, and visualizing your goals can help you cultivate a healthy mind garden. The change won't happen overnight, but with consistency and determination, you'll see your life transforming in amazing ways. Chapter 2. Maximizing the Power of the Subconscious Mind 
Diving deeper into the realm of your mind is essential to unlocking the immense power of your subconscious mind, which can truly catapult your personal and professional growth. It's not just about thinking positively, but also about strategically accessing the often untapped resources within you. Your subconscious mind is a treasure trove of potential, and it's time you learn to harness it. Think of your subconscious mind as a fertile garden. You have the power to plant any seed you wish in this garden. Each thought, each belief is a seed. The more you nurture these seeds with positive reinforcement, the stronger they grow. This is the process of thought control, and it's in your hands. Now, you might be wondering, how do I tap into this subconscious power? Start by visualizing your goals. Really see them in your mind's eye. Feel the emotions associated with achieving these goals as if they've already happened. By doing this, you're programming your subconscious mind to work towards these objectives. Next, practice mindfulness. Be in the moment, fully aware of your thoughts and feelings. This will help you steer your thoughts in the direction you want them to go. Chapter 3 Recognizing Restrictive Beliefs While unlocking your subconscious mind's potential, it's crucial to recognize and confront the restrictive beliefs that may be holding you back from reaching your true potential. These are the ingrained notions that you've unconsciously adopted over time, which may be preventing you from manifesting the life you desire. You might be wondering, what are restrictive beliefs? They're those self-limiting thoughts that keep you in a state of self-doubt, fear, or apprehension beliefs like, I'm not good enough, I can't do this. Or, I don't deserve success. These beliefs often stem from past experiences or societal conditioning, and they're like invisible chains hindering your progress. Now, how can you recognize these restrictive beliefs? Start by paying close attention to your thoughts and feelings. If you consistently feel stuck, frustrated, or unfulfilled despite your efforts, you're likely harboring some restrictive beliefs. Notice patterns in your life where you're repeatedly facing the same obstacles. These are clear indicators. Unraveling these beliefs can be challenging, but it's an empowering journey of self-discovery. It's about peeling back the layers of your subconscious, shining a light on those dark corners where self-doubt and fear reside, and exposing them for what they truly are just thoughts, not facts. Remember, the first step to changing any belief is recognizing it. In the grand scheme, it's not what happens to us, but how we perceive it that shapes our reality. So dare to question your beliefs, challenge them, and you'll be well on your way to manifesting a life of abundance and fulfillment. It's not easy, but it's unquestionably worth it. Chapter 4. Nurturing a Positive Outlook Once you've acknowledged and challenged your restrictive beliefs, it's time to cultivate a more optimistic mindset and nurture a positive outlook on life. This isn't always an easy task, but it's a crucial step to manifest life-changing results. Begin with self-love and acceptance. Understand that you're a work in progress, and it's okay to make mistakes. They don't define you, but rather they're opportunities for growth. As you nurture self-love, you'll find it easier to maintain a positive outlook, even in challenging times. Next, practice gratitude. This isn't about ignoring life's problems, but rather, it's about focusing on what's good around you. Be grateful for simple things, a roof over your head, good health, or a loving family. By acknowledging the good in your life, you'll naturally nurture a positive outlook. Also, surround yourself with positivity. This includes positive people, positive environments, and positive experiences. Negativity can drain your energy and hinder your progress. So create a space that inspires and uplifts you. Lastly, always remember your why. This is your purpose, your driving force. When you remember why you're striving for a positive outlook, it becomes easier to stay on track. It's not just about feeling good, it's about achieving your dreams and manifesting the life you desire. Nurturing a positive outlook isn't a one-time event but a continuous journey. 
It's a crucial part of controlling your thoughts and manifesting life-changing results. Stay committed, stay positive, and watch as your life transforms. Chapter 5 Effective Visualization Techniques for Manifestation To truly harness the power of your mind, mastering effective visualization techniques for manifestation is an absolute must. It's more than daydreaming or wishful thinking. It's a deliberate act of creating vivid mental images of your desires, making them so real that your subconscious mind can't distinguish them from reality. First, clarity is key. Be clear on what you want to manifest. Visualize it in detail, down to the smallest elements. If you're envisioning a new car, what model is it? What color? How does the steering wheel feel in your hands? The more precise you are, the more tangible your visualization becomes. Next, let your emotions flow. Visualization isn't just about seeing, it's about feeling. Imagine how you'll feel when your dream becomes reality. Happiness, pride, satisfaction? Let those feelings envelop you during your visualization. They'll act as a magnet, drawing your desires towards you. Practice makes perfect. Visualization isn't a one-time deal. The more you practice, the stronger your mental images become and the faster you'll manifest your desires. Set aside some quiet time each day for visualization. Lastly, believe in the process. Doubts and fears will only hinder your progress. Trust that your visualization is working and that your desires are on their way to you. Remember, your mind is a powerful tool. With the right techniques, you can manifest life-changing results. Now it's your turn. Start visualizing, feel the joy of achieving your dreams, and watch as they unfold into reality. Stay motivated and believe in your power. You're capable of great things. Chapter 6 Exploring the Science Behind Outcomes Driven by Thought you might be wondering how thoughts can actually influence real-world outcomes, but science has started to unravel this mind-power mystery. Just like you, many have been skeptical, but experiments in quantum physics have shown that particles behave differently when observed. This suggests that our consciousness, our thoughts, have some influence on reality. What you focus your thinking on, you tend to attract in your life. This is the basic premise of the Law of Attraction, a theory deeply rooted in quantum physics. Think of your thoughts as a kind of energy. Each thought you have creates a tiny bit of energy. That energy, in turn, affects the world around you, even if in a very small way. Imagine your thoughts as ripples in a pond. Even the smallest pebble can create waves that reach far beyond where it first hit the water. Your thoughts work in a similar fashion, spreading out and influencing everything they touch. This doesn't mean you can think your way into winning the lottery or becoming an overnight success, but it does mean your thoughts have the power to shape your experiences and your approach to life. This understanding isn't about abandoning practical action. It's about recognizing that your thoughts are a significant part of the equation. They shape your perception influence your decisions, and ultimately drive the outcomes in your life. Harnessing this power can lead to profound changes. Start today, be conscious of your thoughts, and watch as your life begins to align with your deepest desires. Chapter 7 Revamping Brain Connections for Achieving Goals Let's dive into the fascinating world of neuroplasticity where reshaping your brain connections can be the key to achieving your goals. Your brain, believe it or not, is as malleable as clay. It's continuously forming new connections and pathways based on your thoughts, actions, and experiences. It's like a garden that's always growing and changing with the season of your life. Now, you might be wondering, how does this help me achieve my goals well? The answer lies in the power of your thoughts. Every thought you have can shape the structure and function of your brain. By consciously focusing on positive and goal-oriented thoughts, you can create stronger and more efficient neural pathways that support your objectives. 
Think of it like this, your brain is a city and your thoughts are the traffic. The more often you travel a certain route, think a thought, the wider and more efficient that road becomes. That's why habitual thoughts are so powerful, they've got the super highways. But here's the exciting part you're in control. You can build your own highways by consistently thinking about your goals, visualizing your success, and taking meaningful action towards them. Neuroplasticity gives you the tools to reshape your brain and, by extension, your life. Chapter 8. Conquering the Obstacles of Change while embracing change can be daunting, it's vital to recognize and conquer the obstacles that stand in your path to rewire your brain for success. Understand that change is inevitable, but it's your attitude towards it that can either propel you forward or hold you back. Fear is a common obstacle that can paralyze you, preventing you from moving forward. You're afraid of the unknown, of failure, or even of success. But remember, fear is just a feeling, not a reality. You have the power to control your fear and not let it control you. Face it head on, acknowledge it, and then take action despite it. Another obstacle is a lack of self-belief. It's easy to doubt yourself, especially when you're venturing into new territory. But you've overcome challenges before, haven't you? You're stronger and more resilient than you give yourself credit for. Reaffirm your strengths and abilities and trust that you can handle whatever comes your way. Lastly, don't forget about resistance from others. People may question your decisions, or they might fear your change because it disrupts their status quo. Don't let their doubts and fears dampen your spirit. Understand their concerns, but stay true to your course. Conquering obstacles requires courage, determination, and a firm belief in your capabilities. So, embrace change, conquer the obstacles, and start controlling your thoughts to manifest life-changing results. Change isn't easy, but it's worth it. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. Chapter 9. Bringing Your Thoughts in Line with Your Desired Realities Harnessing the power of your thoughts to align with your desired realities can feel like a daunting task but it's a journey worth embarking on, as it can propel you towards your dreams and aspirations. Let's face it, the mind is a powerful tool that can either push us forward or hold us back. It all depends on how you choose to use it. The first step is to clearly define your desired reality. What does success look like to you? Picture it vividly in your mind, and don't be afraid to dream big. Remember, this is your reality we're talking about, and you're in control. Next, align your thoughts with this ideal vision. This means actively choosing to think positively, to believe in your abilities, and to expect the best outcome. It's not about ignoring potential problems, but rather viewing them as challenges to be overcome, not insurmountable obstacles. Another vital aspect is repetition. Consistently remind yourself of your goals and the reality you're working towards. Write them down, say them out loud, or visualize them daily. The more you repeat them, the more your mind will accept them as truth. Chapter 10. Connecting the divide between ideas and implementation. Bridging the gap between your innovative ideas and their practical implementation might seem challenging, but it's absolutely achievable with the right mindset and approach. You see, it's not enough to just think of great ideas. You've got to put them into action to bring about significant change in your life. The journey from conception to completion can be daunting, but don't let that hold you back. Start by writing your ideas down. This simple act makes them tangible, turning them from abstract thoughts into concrete plans. It's easier to tackle a written idea, and it also allows you to revisit and refine it as needed. Next, break down your ideas into manageable tasks. Rome wasn't built in a day, and your ideas won't be either. Breaking them down into smaller tasks makes them less intimidating and allows you to track your progress. Don't be disheartened by setbacks. They're a normal part of the process. Instead, see them as opportunities to learn and improve. Persistence is key here. Keep going, and you'll get there. 
Lastly, remember to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Each step forward is a step towards turning your ideas into reality. Celebrate these milestones to keep your motivation high. In this journey of thoughts control, you're not just connecting the divide between ideas and implementation, you're also manifesting life-changing results. So, take that leap of faith. Trust yourself, challenge your boundaries, and watch your thoughts transform into reality. Chapter 11. Unlocking the Creative Potential of Thoughts Having explored the journey from idea to action, let's now focus on how to tap into the innate creativity of your mind, unlocking the true potential of your thoughts. Like a dormant volcano, your mind houses a reservoir of untapped ideas and concepts that can revolutionize your life once you learn how to harness them. You're not alone if you've ever felt like your thoughts are irrelevant or uncreative. Our minds often get crowded with the noise of everyday life, causing our creative potential to be sidelined. The first step to unlocking this potential is to believe in the power of your thoughts. You're not just a passive receiver of ideas, you're an active creator. Every thought that crosses your mind has the potential to be a seed of something extraordinary. Next, engage in activities that stimulate your mind. It could be anything from reading a book, taking a walk in nature, or indulging in a hobby. These activities can act as triggers, opening up new pathways for your thoughts. Lastly, practice mindfulness. It's about being present in the moment, paying attention to your thoughts without judgment. By doing so, you'll be able to identify those creative sparks that usually go unnoticed. Chapter 12. Activating the Power of Manifestation You possess the power to turn your thoughts into reality, a process known as manifestation, and it's high time you activated it. Understand this your mind is a powerful tool, capable of bringing into existence what you most deeply desire. But how do you tap into this profound capability? It's simpler than you might think. Start by identifying what you truly want. Is it a new job, a healthier lifestyle, stronger relationships, or perhaps inner peace? Don't just think about these desires, feel them. Immerse yourself in the emotions these desires elicit. Why? Because emotions are the fuel that powers manifestation. They act as signals, telling the universe what you want. So let your heart yearn, let your soul ache feel the joy, the excitement, the anticipation of achieving your dreams. Next, visualize your desired outcome. Picture it in minute detail. See it, touch it, smell it, hear it. Make it as real in your mind's eye as it will be in your reality. This isn't mere daydreaming. You're cementing your desires in your subconscious, creating a blueprint for your reality. Finally, believe in your power to manifest. Doubt is the enemy of manifestation. Believe that you're deserving of your desires and that they're already on their way to you. You're not wishing upon a star, you're invoking a universal law, the law of attraction. Chapter 13. Discovering the Mysteries of Intention Setting now let's unravel the intriguing mysteries of intention setting, a key step in manifesting your deepest desires. Think of intention as your inner compass, guiding your thoughts and actions towards your goals. It's the concrete foundation upon which the house of your dreams is built. But how do you set a powerful intention, you ask? To set an intention, first, quiet your mind. Tune out the noise and distractions of the world and tune into your inner self. Ask yourself, what's it that I truly want? What are my deepest desires? This process might seem daunting, but it's crucial to get clear about what you really want. Once you've identified your heart's desire, the next step is to put it into words. Be specific. Don't just say, I want to be happy instead. Think about what happiness means to you. Does it mean financial freedom? A loving relationship? A fulfilling career? Your intention should resonate with your values and aspirations. Chapter 14. Shifting Unhelpful Mental Patterns. 
Shifting unhelpful mental patterns might seem like a daunting task, but it's an essential step in steering your thoughts towards your desires. You've got patterns ingrained in your mind, which, while they may have served you in the past, aren't propelling you towards your goals now. It's time to rewire your thoughts. First, let's acknowledge that it's okay to have these unhelpful mental patterns. Everyone does. They're a product of your past experiences, societal conditioning, and the human tendency to stick with what's familiar. But remember, you're not stuck with them. You have the power to change these patterns, and it starts with awareness. Next, you need to identify these patterns. Look for thought habits that make you feel stuck, negative, or unfulfilled. Maybe you often think, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed. Recognize these for what they're unhelpful mental patterns, not truths about you. Once you've identified your patterns, challenge them. Ask yourself, is this thought serving me? Is it moving me towards my goals? If not, it's time to replace it. Create a new, positive affirmation for each unhelpful thought. Turn I'm not good enough into I am capable and deserving of success. It might feel strange at first, but with consistency, you'll start to believe these new thoughts. Chapter 15 Harnessing the Power of Mindfulness for Manifestation Harnessing the power of mindfulness can unlock a treasure trove of manifestation potential, turning thoughts into tangible realities. It's about being present and focused, truly observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. By doing this, you're opening up a pathway for your intentions to flow freely and manifest into reality. It's not just about wishful thinking, it's about truly believing and being in the moment with your desires. Now, you might be wondering, how do I become mindful be present? That means, stop worrying about the past or future. Stay focused on the here and now. This could be as simple as noticing the sensation of your breath as it goes in and out. Next, observe your thoughts and feelings. Recognize them, but don't judge them. Just let them be. It's like watching a movie simply observe without getting involved. This will help you understand your thought patterns and identify which ones serve you and which ones don't. Remember, mindfulness isn't a one-time deal. It's an ongoing process. It's about being aware of your thoughts and feelings and using this awareness to harness the power of your mind for manifestation. It's a powerful practice that can truly change your life. With mindfulness, you're not just dreaming, you're doing. You're actively participating in the creation of your reality. So embrace the power of mindfulness and watch as your thoughts manifest into life-changing results. Chapter 16 Cultivating a Mindset Focused on Abundance and Success Building on the foundation of mindfulness, it's time to focus your mental energy on fostering a mindset of abundance and success. This step isn't about being greedy or materialistic, but rather about recognizing your worth and believing in your capacity to achieve great things. It's about reshaping your outlook from a perspective of scarcity to one of abundance and shifting your focus from fear of failure to anticipation of success. To begin, you must first understand what abundance truly means. It's more than just financial wealth that encompasses success in areas of health, relationships, personal growth, and fulfillment. An abundant mindset is one where you believe there's enough for everyone, including yourself, and that you have the potential to create whatever you desire in your life. Next, visualize your own version of success. Picture it in your mind, feel it in your heart, and believe in its possibility. Success isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. It's deeply personal and unique to each individual. Your version of success could be launching your own business, achieving a healthy work-life balance, or making a difference in your community. The key is to define what success means to you and then fiercely believe in your capability to achieve it. Cultivating a mindset of abundance and success requires patience and practice. It's a journey, not a destination. But rest assured, each step you take in this direction not only empowers you to manifest life-changing results, but also brings you closer to the person you aspire to be. Remember, you're capable, 
you're deserving, and with the right mindset, you're unstoppable. Chapter 17 Effective Techniques for Transforming Your Thoughts Change is never easy, but with dedication and patience, you can teach your mind to think differently and create a transformative impact on your life. The first technique is mindfulness. It involves focusing your attention on the present moment and accepting it without judgment. By becoming more aware of your thoughts, you can identify those that are unhelpful and choose to let them go. It's not about suppressing your thoughts, but rather acknowledging them and choosing not to engage. It's a challenging practice, but with time you'll find it easier to stay in control. Next, consider cognitive reframing. This is a psychological technique where you challenge the negative or unhelpful thoughts and replace them with more positive and beneficial ones. For instance, instead of thinking, I can't do this, you might reframe it to, I'm learning and improving. The key is to challenge the truth of your negative thoughts and find a more balanced perspective. Lastly, practice visualization. This involves creating a mental image of what you want to achieve. By visualizing your goals as already accomplished, you're training your mind to believe in your ability to achieve them. It's like rehearsing for success. Chapter 18 Empowering Your Mind with Affirmations to Break Free from Limiting Beliefs While you've been practicing mindfulness, cognitive reframing, and visualization, it's also essential to empower your mind with affirmations to break free from any limiting beliefs. These self-affirmations are positive statements that can help you challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeatedly tell yourself something, you start to believe it, and then you can make it happen. So how do affirmations work? They serve as gentle reminders to your subconscious mind, helping it reprogram and change negative patterns of thinking. Affirmations aren't merely wishful thinking, they're powerful assertions that stimulate the areas of your brain that make you open to change. Now let's craft some affirmations. They should be personal, positive, and present tense. For example, instead of I want to be confident, say I am confident, feel the weight of these words and let them sink deep into your consciousness. Repeat them aloud, write them down, or meditate on them. However, it's not enough to just repeat these statements mindlessly. Engage with the emotions behind them. Feel the joy, confidence, or peace they invoke. This emotional engagement strengthens the effect of the affirmations, making them more potent. Chapter 19. Unlocking the Potential of Visualization Exercises Diving into visualization exercises, you're about to unlock a powerful tool that can dramatically shift your mindset and accelerate your personal growth. This isn't just a fancy technique, but a proven method for unleashing your potential and attracting the life you've always desired. Imagine you're an artist, and your life is the canvas. Visualization is the brush you use to paint the vibrant colors of your dreams and aspirations. It's not just about picturing a vague image in your mind. It's about immersing yourself fully, using all your senses to experience your desired reality as though it's already happening. Start by finding a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take deep, slow breaths. Center your mind and let go of any distracting thoughts. Now, picture your goal. See it in vivid detail, as if it's already happening in front of you. If it's a new job, visualize shaking hands with your new boss. If it's a healthy body, see yourself looking fit and strong. Don't just see it, feel it. Experience the emotions that come with achieving your goal. The joy, the satisfaction, the confidence. Let these feelings flood your entire being. Do this exercise regularly and you'll start to see a shift. Your mind will start to believe in the possibilities, and you'll be motivated to take action to turn your visualizations into reality. Remember, your thoughts shape your reality. 
So dream big, visualize vividly, and watch as you manifest your ideal life. Chapter 20. Harmonizing Thoughts and Emotions to Manifest Desires Building on the power of visualization, it's equally important to understand how harmonizing your thoughts and emotions can significantly impact the manifestation of your desires. Just as a song can't resonate without harmony, your thoughts and emotions need to work together to create a powerful force capable of turning your dreams into reality. This isn't a quick process, but one that requires patience, practice, and self-awareness. Think of your thoughts as seeds and your emotions as the water that helps them grow. If your thoughts are positive, but your emotions are negative, your seeds won't flourish. It's as if you're watering your seeds with salt water it hinders growth, doesn't foster it. So learning to align your thoughts and emotions in a positive, constructive way is the key to manifesting your desires. A good place to start is by becoming aware of your emotional responses. Are they in sync with your thoughts? If you're thinking about a goal, but feeling doubtful or fearful, you're sending mixed signals to the universe. It's crucial to match your emotional state with your thoughts to create a strong, coherent signal. Chapter 21. Embracing a growth mindset to master your thoughts. To truly master your thoughts, it's essential that you embrace a growth mindset, seeing challenges as opportunities and mistakes as lessons to learn from. This shift in perspective isn't just beneficial, it's transformative. It helps you to see the world not as a series of hurdles to be feared, but as a classroom full of opportunities to grow, learn, and achieve. Now, you might be thinking, that's easier said than done, and you're right. Changing your mindset isn't a switch that you can flip overnight. It requires patience, perseverance, and most importantly, practice. But remember, you're not alone in this journey. Everyone struggles with self-doubt and fear of failure at some point. What separates those who succeed from those who don't is the ability to harness these fears, learn from them, and use them as stepping stones to success. Start by acknowledging your fears and self-doubts. Recognize them for what they're just thoughts. And remember, thoughts aren't facts. They don't define you, and they certainly don't dictate your future. Next, challenge these thoughts. Ask yourself, is this thought helping me or hindering me? If it's the latter, let it go. Replace it with a positive, empowering thought. This is your mind, and you have the power to control it. Lastly, stay persistent. Change takes time, but with each passing day, you're getting stronger, more resilient, and better equipped to face whatever life throws at you. Chapter 22. Practical Uses for Harnessing the Power of the Mind Now that you're equipped with the knowledge to master your thoughts, Let's explore some practical ways you can harness the power of your mind in everyday life. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. It's a universal challenge, but also a universal opportunity. Your first tool is visualization. Picture your desired outcome in your mind's eye. This isn't mere daydreaming. It's a focused, intentional process that can bring your dreams to life. Whether you're preparing for a job interview or a marathon, Visualization can put you in a positive, success-oriented mindset. Next, practice mindfulness. This involves staying present in the moment, acknowledging your feelings and thoughts without judgment. You can't control what you're not aware of. Mindfulness helps you recognize and manage negative thoughts before they spiral out of control. Lastly, affirmations are your cheerleaders. These positive, Empowering statements can reprogram your mind for success. I am strong. I'm capable. I'm worthy. Repeat these affirmations daily, and you'll start to believe them. Harnessing the power of your mind isn't just about achieving big dreams. It's about creating a better everyday reality for you and those around you. Imagine a life where you're more focused, more productive, more peaceful. 
That's the power of thought control. And remember, this is a journey, not a destination. Be patient with yourself. Celebrate your small victories. You're on your way to a more empowered, positive, and fulfilling life. Keep going. Chapter 23 Nurturing a Strong Mindset for Achieving Success Starting on the path to success begins with nurturing a strong mindset, and it's easier than you might think. Believe it or not, your mind has an immense capacity to shape your reality. The first step is to accept this truth. Understand that your thoughts can influence your actions and, in turn, the results you achieve. Now, let's talk about developing a positive outlook. It's crucial to maintain an optimistic perspective, even in the face of adversity. Life will always throw curveballs your way, but your response to these challenges defines your journey. Instead of viewing obstacles as setbacks, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Next, practice resilience. Success isn't a straight path. There will be bumps, detours, and even roadblocks. But remember, you're stronger and more capable than you think. Don't let setbacks discourage you. Instead, dust yourself off and carry on with even more determination. Lastly, cultivate self-belief. Believe in your abilities, your dreams, and most importantly, in yourself. Doubts and fears may creep in, but they're merely transient thoughts. Don't let them dictate your actions. You possess the power to achieve your goals, no matter how ambitious they might be. In essence, nurturing a strong mindset isn't about eliminating negative thoughts. It's about recognizing them, acknowledging their presence, and then choosing to focus on the positive. It's a journey of self-discovery, resilience, and unwavering faith in your abilities. So, take the reins of your thoughts, because you're the master of your destiny. Chapter 24 Incorporating Appreciation into the Process of Changing Our Thinking You're on a journey to transform your thinking, and it's essential to remember the key role gratitude plays in this process. By incorporating appreciation, you'll find it enhances your positive thinking and fuels your transformation. The power of gratitude is immense. Let's explore how it can become a game changer in your thought control journey. Embracing gratitude can become a powerful catalyst in your journey towards thought transformation, allowing you to truly appreciate every step of your evolving mindset. It's not just about saying thank you for the good things, it's about recognizing the lessons in every experience, the growth in every challenge. This conscious shift helps you develop a richer, more fulfilling perspective on life. Gratitude can help you unlock the fullness of life. It turns what we've into enough and more. It's the key that opens the door to instant happiness. When you're grateful, you find the best in others, and you give the best you have. Remember, gratitude isn't a one-time act. It's a habit to cultivate, a lifestyle to adopt. It's not about being thankful when things go right. It's about being thankful always, in all things. This mindset shift won't happen overnight, but the more you practice gratitude, the more natural it will feel. Gratitude's role in your thought transformation journey isn't just significant, it's indispensable. Just as gratitude plays a crucial role in thought transformation, appreciation significantly enhances positive thinking, becoming a potent tool in reshaping your mindset. You see, appreciation is more than just saying thank you, it's about acknowledging the value and worth of something or someone, recognizing their contribution to your life. It's essential for you to integrate appreciation into your daily routine. Start by appreciating the small things in your life, a good meal, a sunny day, a smile from a stranger. As you develop this habit, you'll find it easier to appreciate bigger aspects of your life, even the challenges, because you understand that they're part of your growth. Your thoughts are powerfully influenced by what you focus on. By choosing to focus on appreciation, you're essentially programming your mind to think more positively. 
You're reminding yourself of the good in your life, reducing stress, and increasing your happiness. Remember, positive thinking isn't just about being optimistic, it's about acknowledging the good that already exists in your life. Make appreciation a regular practice, and you'll quickly see the transformative effects on your mindset and life. Harnessing the transformative power of gratitude can revolutionize your thinking process, especially when you incorporate appreciation into the equation. An attitude of gratitude creates a positive mindset, which in turn attracts positivity into your life. It's like a magnet drawing in the very things you're grateful for. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're all struggling, trying to find our way. But here's a secret gratitude is a shortcut to happiness. It's a tool you can use to shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right in your life. Imagine starting each day as a blank canvas. You've been given paints of various colors, your thoughts, emotions, and experiences. You decide what you paint on that canvas. Gratitude, appreciation, positivity, these are the vibrant colors that make your painting beautiful. Now, it's not always easy. Sometimes life throws you a curveball. But even in those moments, gratitude can be your beacon. It's an internal compass guiding you towards positivity. Incorporating gratitude into your thought process isn't just beneficial, it's transformative. So start today. Be grateful, be positive, and watch as your life changes for the better. Chapter 25. Maintaining a positive mindset for lasting outcomes. You're on the path to not only transforming your thoughts, but also maintaining a positive mindset for lasting outcomes. It's time to cultivate positive mental attitudes, utilize the power of positive communications, and overcome negative thought patterns. Cultivating a positive mental attitude isn't just about thinking happy thoughts, it's a lifelong commitment to self-improvement, resilience, and optimism that can lead to lasting outcomes. It's not easy, but it's absolutely worth it. You'll find that as you develop this mindset, you'll be better equipped to handle life's challenges, and you'll be more likely to manifest the results you desire. So, how do you cultivate a positive mental attitude? Start by acknowledging your current mindset. Recognize any negative patterns of thinking and commit to transforming them. It's okay to experience negative emotions, they're part of being human. However, don't let them control you. Instead, choose to focus on the positive aspects of every situation. Next, set clear, achievable goals. Having something to strive towards can help keep you motivated and positive. Remember, it's not about the destination, but the journey. Enjoy the process of growth and change. Building on the foundation of a positive mindset, let's explore the transformative effect of positive communication on our lives and how it sustains our optimism for lasting outcomes. Embrace the fact that your words possess power. They can build up or tear down, inspire or discourage. By consciously choosing positivity, you're not just painting a rosy picture, you're creating an environment conducive to growth and success. Imagine your life as a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds, your words are the water. If you nurture your garden with positive communication, you'll cultivate a mindset that's resilient, optimistic, and ready to manifest remarkable results. You'll find that positive communication isn't just about speaking kindly to others. It's also about the dialogue you have with yourself. Ever find yourself trapped in a cycle of negative thoughts, Despite your best efforts to maintain positivity, you're not alone. Many of us grapple with the same challenge. Yet, overcoming these negative thought patterns is crucial to manifesting real change in your life. Begin by acknowledging your thoughts. Don't judge them, just notice. Acceptance is the first step to transformation. Then, challenge your negative thoughts. Ask yourself, is this thought helping me? If it's not, let it go. Replace it with a positive affirmation that resonates with you. Remember, you're in control of your thoughts. It mightn't seem like it at times, but with practice, you'll get there. Start a gratitude journal. 
Each day, jot down three things you're grateful for. This simple practice shifts your focus from negative to positive. Lastly, surround yourself with positivity. This includes people, activities, and even the music you listen to. You'll find that maintaining a positive mindset becomes easier when you're immersed in an uplifting environment. Overcoming negative thought patterns isn't instantaneous, but with time and persistence, you'll manifest life-changing results. Don't give up. You're closer than you think. By recognizing your limiting beliefs, nurturing positivity, and practicing effective visualization, you're already harnessing your mind's potential. Remember, every step forward counts. Cherish these progress points and appreciate your journey of transformation. Stay committed, keep believing in your power to manifest your desires, and you'll witness life-changing results. You're on a powerful journey of thought control, and the outcome is a testament to your resilience, strength, and determination. Keep going. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.